Hey guys, this is Judd Dunning from Bright Vessel, and I'm going to help you guys install today the free version of adding pre orders to your WooCommerce site. Um, we built a free plugin called Pre Orders for WooCommerce. It's by Bright Plugins. If you go to search the WordPress.org site, you'll see it there. We have over 7,000 active installations and a five star review. There is a support forum on WordPress.org that you can use. Keep in mind, we cannot provide any sort of uh, files or in certain information because of their policies. So if you do need support, it is recommended that you go to our website at Bright Plugins, then go to the support tab. And inside there, there'll be a, a form that you can fill out, add information, you can provide, provide credentials to your website. And we can help you uh, through there much better versus the forum. So we do offer free support on that. So uh, you know, take advantage of that. Um, going back to uh, the site, I do have a uh, demo site that I'm going to use to show you how to install the, the free version of the plugin and go through some of the options that it has. So, so if you're on your website and you're going to install, you would go into the back end of the website. We want to click um, Add New Plugin. When we do that, um, you'll have a, be a, a little search area. You can just type in pre-orders. With the pre-orders, you want to um, just check, double check to make sure it says Bright Plugins. Um, and then you click Install Now. Once that's installed, it should say Activate button. You want to click that Activate button. And that's it. Now you have the pre-orders for WooCommerce uh, uh, plugin installed on your website and you're ready to add pre-orders to uh, to the website. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how to add a pre-order product really quick. Then I'm going to go through the settings. So if you go to products and you can see I have a few already, but I'm just going to click add new. I'm going to say demo pre-order. And then I'm going to go down to, and this is the key thing, in order to make it a pre-order product, it's not through selecting it here. It does work for variable and simple products, but we want to go to the inventory uh, tab on the product data within your product. So here I'm going to go here, and then if you check, you'll see this little box here. That's where you'll be able to check to offer it as a pre-order product, and you can also select the date that the product will be available. So um, I'm just gonna click this here. I'm gonna say uh, March 22nd, for example. Um, in order to make it display, you need to make sure that you have a price. If you don't have a price, it won't display the pre-order. And then after I hit publish, I'm just gonna verify and check the page. And then look at that, I got a pre-order uh, product. It's there, ready to go, and uh, that's, that's the basically the fastest way to get a pre-order functionality on your website for WooCommerce. As you can see, it's a very fast process. Now I'm going to go through a few of the settings that are on the free version. So um, if you go on the back end of the site again, you should see a Bright Plugins tab. And then in there, we have typically settings for all our plugins, but you'll see the pre-order settings there. And in here, I'm going to go through kind of uh, what's in the free version uh, and what you can do with it. So number one is that there, um, there are different modes for pro version. And this one, it um, only allows you to place pre-orders by themselves in a shopping cart and checking out. So if you want to do uh, uh, other things like generate a separate order for pre-order products or a separate order for each pre-order product or tre treat the entire order as a pre-order, we have some different modes and how they work, and you can go through the documentation to see if that kind of fits you if you do need those, those pro settings. Um, aside from that, um, we do allow for uh, uh, a badge, a pre-order badge to be added um, to the page. Um, you're able to do that, and what that does is it puts this little badge here saying uh, pre-order, so it, it puts it right on, on top of the product. Um, as far as uh, some other stuff that you can do, uh, the badge position, we uh, allowed it to be before or after title or in the shop loop. In case you have a template, you'll be able to place it where you'd like. 
So when looking at display the available date, um, we will be showing that on the single product page, catalog page, or cart page. If you go to the cart page, it'll show how many days that are left. If you go to the category page, it will display that as well. And then if you go to the product page itself, it will show the uh, when the product will be available there too. So that's where, where that setting does there. For um, text and labels, we give the ability in the free version to change the different labels on the various pages that you have. So we have the pre-order button. We have a uh, status name, which will be pre-order cart notices as well, saying no, this available item will be a, you know by X amount of days. So we have uh, different ways you can do that. So if you change this um, here, to that, it will state um, the weeks instead, or the you know versus the countdown, for example. Or you could actually have the date format itself. So, um, so there's definitely different ways that you can uh, post uh, the labels for it. Specific options on that, you can go to the support section of our site. As far as uh, notifications, those will be on the pro version. And then, as far as email templates, these are located um, inside the WooCommerce settings. Um, basically, we give a link to it, so it's the uh, new pre-order email that gets sent out. You have the ability to edit that both for the admin as well as the customer. So that's it. That, that wraps up kind of um, you know the different settings that we have for pre-orders. Again, if you do need help, we offer great support. Please use our support contact form on our site, the best way to get support both for free and paid. And if you have any questions or any uh, comments or enhancements, please, please let us know in the comments uh, section and also subscribe.